Take the first question. More than draw. I think if you, we assess the game, I think we were better than Arsenal in, uh, in all the aspects. But, of course, in the way that finish with the penalty missing from, from Arsenal um, and the action that we didn't get after because it was a clear penalty to, to Harry Kane, I think uh, from lose to, to win maybe the game was... Yes, I think it was a fantastic game. So, exciting game. Um, great atmosphere. Um, two teams wanted to play and... And win the game, and always it's tough to play against Arsenal. Um, of course, it was tough because to concede after 15 minutes was tough for for us. Um, but of course, um, I am so happy with the with the character, with the personality, and when, and and the way that on the end we play I wasn't I repeat great our performance, but it was very good to. To draw and then maybe decide to win. But I think uh, after two defeats, it was important today to, to show that uh, start to build again our positive round. We, ha we have a very difficult game again Borussia Dortmund on Tuesday because it's going to be difficult and to arrive in, in better condition that we arrive today is going to be key. Yes, but you know, on the end, uh, it was penalty. I think we, we sometimes we go to to be focused in, in few action, but I think the action that change complete the game is after 12 minutes. The action again from Chaka to to Harry Kane that even wasn't wasn't foul. That is the action that after change everything in in, in the dynamic of the of the game. Um, this season, we are so unlucky. Yeah. Decision that affects in a negative way to us, like uh, again Manchester United, Pogba should be sent off. Uh, Harry Kane got an injury uh, when it was a clear, fa clear foul in the edge to the, to the box, and even no foul. We, and can keep going in many, many, many situations, but you know, hope that on the end of the season and next season change and maybe we have more lucky no in the future yeah yes of course that from the beginning i i wasn't so clear of course that um, in the way that they, they, they are using different leagues, it's a massive experience for us to watch. I am following different leagues like uh, France or Spain, and the problem happened the same, not changed too much. Uh, some situations that are so so difficult for the referee to to handle and to manage. Uh, we don't be, we cannot believe that is going to be the key of that football now is going to be fair. Never was fair football, and it's not going to be fair. But of course, it's in the way that we are going to use the VAR is going to be the key. And I think with all the experience in the World Cup and the different leagues this season, I think it's so important work to do now for the future um, to be sure that it's going to be a, a massive help for, for the decision of the referee. I'm going to try to be... Uh, in some situation, uh, a fairly, fairly decision for, for uh, each team. No? Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Um, and secondly, you put your honour on Lucas Torreira in the tunnel at the end. What did you say to him? Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> that is private. It's true that what happened on the pitch of the pitch and that was on the tunnel, but you know, no, I, I only in Spanish. He's uh, Uruguayan and, 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 and me, Argentino, and I only to say hello, how are you? No, no, not too much. I cannot say, but I didn't see in that moment. I think I cannot uh, say it was fair or not fair because, to be honest, I, I didn't watch yet. No. Sorry, no, I tried to, to talk with him and because I was talking with the four officials and saying, oh, how are you, but not because I, I say hello when we play there a yeah, few, few times. Can I just take you back to that Jack foul that you mentioned on Harry Kane? Two more after this, guys. So that was on 20 minutes, you said? 
12. 12. After 12. Before we, we concede. And, and can you just remind us where it was and why you thought, just tell us again why you think it was so, the changing point in the game. Yeah, you put it again. Okay. Yeah, because even wasn't foul, should be yellow or should be amber or should be red, but even wasn't wasn't foul. So Jackie should have been sent off. No, no, no. I said foul, yellow, amber, or red. That is the the referee decision. I'm not going to to say, but wasn't foul. That change or no change to play with after 12 minutes. Or the foul it was for us, maybe we can score the goal. It was yellow card, the aggressivity of the player drop. It was Amber, no, Damar, we don't use Amber. No? Okay. Red, it's clear that you are going to have an advantage. But please, make the exercise to watch this action, and after we can talk about the, the, the was, was, uh, was upside, no, was penalty or not. Different decision was sent off after Torreira in the last minute, yes or no, whether we will talk, but we are going to put everything. And after 12 minutes, it can be decisive. If you score in the first second of the, of the, of the game, maybe you win the game 1 0. You know, it can be decisive, not only the action on the, on the end or when is, you are going to play the injury time, you know. Yeah, but not only, I think, bad night Wednesday, the whole team. No, no, Hugo, only. <laughs> it was the first. No, but you say, you put the finger on, on Hugo, Wednesday, like Aisha, are responsible of, of Wednesday defeat. It wasn't him. I think I cannot blame him, Wednesday. And of course, Hugo is one of the best keepers on the world. He, he, he don't need to, sh to show that, and he, he cannot prove nothing. But you know how we are always, uh, when the defeat appears, it's normal. The finger always are in the, in the big, in the big uh, player, like Hugo, or if Harry miss uh, some chances, or if we don't win, like in the last two games, uh, Harry is the problem, or is, I don't know, or, you know. That is because they are so big uh, player. It's normal that the finger is is on them. Okay, we'll finish with Ali, please. Uh, Rico, you moved Danny Rose into midfield. I think I remember you did that at Real Madrid as well last season. Yes, he, good memory. Yeah, what does he bring to that role? What, what kind of yeah, the circumstance uh, may have to find different solution to play. You know, uh, we wanted to play with back four and to use Shan going forward, but we missed some. Uh, aggressive midfielder to help in Musa Sissoko and Danny when he was young played a lot there and I think he when he he was young and playing Don, Don Castro lead I don't remember now uh, I don't remember I think he was I think it was lead or Don Castro I don't, I don't lead, remember sorry. yes um, yes and after after nearly five years we know very well him that have the quality technically quality to play like a midfielder and it's so aggressive and we need uh, for different circumstances, you know, after uh, um, Guanyama uh, was out uh, to, 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 to have more consistency on the middle and I think he, he, when we, he started to play there, um, I think it was, was good. He, he lost some, some balls because the habit to play and repeat in that area is, is different to play when you play on the side, but I think he has the quality to, to play because Technically, it's so good. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you.